G'day guys and welcome back, I'm Rosini16 and I'm here today to bring you episode 4 of Gunning to Glory. Now in the last episode we managed to get 2 wins I believe, which got us the new addition in the team of Debushi. Now I've already done all the editing of the team to make sure the fitness is alright, I did that at the end of the last video, so just double check but I should be able to jump straight into a game and we can get straight stuck into the action. Jumping into the first game guys, we come up against this very nice 100 chem BPL team. Very dangerous players in there including the likes of Sturridge. Now in this game it was very frustrating. My team played like the team they are. Low chemistry and low rated and they played atrocious. But it made for a challenging game nonetheless. We're going to jump into the highlights and I'll see you guys at full time. Really in a terrific light to win. They do the same again. Well, you'd fancy them too. I'm sure the manager wouldn't have had too much to say in between these two matches. Full of confidence, this side. Daniel Sturridge. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Got to check starts in goal. John Terry plays alongside Eliakim Mangala in the heart of the defence. Emmanuel Matic plays with Bastian Schweinsteiger in central midfield. And in attack, Christian Benteke starts up front with Dan. Santi Cazola. Break is definitely on. Debushi. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. The score! Nice goal! Oh, his teammates are all over him because to score on your debut is great news for any player. And the way he's guided that to the left-hand side of the goal, way. it's wonderful technique. Now the shot, and they've scored the equaliser. a goal in a million to find the top right with his laces from that distance I cannot believe it it's a level both sides have scored here now well, everything to play for in the second half we've reached half time the start of the second half. In that first 45 minutes, it was a good goal from him. This is how they love to play on the break. He's cut out that pass. Shots on here. It's a chance well taken. And they now lead the game. And I don't need to keep Danny Welbeck. Looks to get at him and he's got past it. It could be Welbeck! And that levels it up, it's a goal. A goal from Welbeck. And he knew exactly where the keeper was there. He knew he didn't have to hit it particularly hard. Gabriel. It. And the ball's in, it's a goal! Oh, talk about an immediate impact, a couple of goals on his debut, wonderful stuff. A dramatic moment, it's a defender who has breached their defence. I think they were almost, take, almost uh, ordered his teammate to give it back to him then. The ref blows for the free kick. Equalizer from 
Sturridge. We just feel sorry for the keeper, really. The way he's hit that to his right, he's got no chance of getting a hand on it. All right, guys, that brings us full time. Our first draw in the series, and although the stats say it was very evenly matched, I felt like I probably deserved to get the win over him. He wasn't a very good player. He was very arrogant in the way he played, but he wasn't very good. He was very predictable and easy to read, but shitty shots from out of the box that were rebounds out of my goalkeeper or defense. Just nothing I can do about it. It got him a couple of goals. The last goal, I will admit, he really deserved. I think one of my goals probably wasn't deserved, but... It was a pretty even match. I feel like I probably should have just got over, but I'm not going to complain drawing against a team like that. And We still technically keep our unbeaten record, so we're just going to fix up the team and make sure the fitness is good on everyone, and we're going to jump into this next game. Alright guys, so we're popping into this second game. We come up against another 100 cam beautiful French team. Now, I was absolutely shitting my dax at this point because I had to rest a lot of my good players, including the Arsenal ones, which means I was playing with pretty much the starter side and I was very, very worried coming up against another beast team like this. But I'll just leave you guys to the highlights and I'll see you at the end of the video. Interception. Gabriel. Cut out. Real individual inspiration here. Can he do it? What a fine save. And he scores spectacularly. It is a fantastic goal for the club because of the prize that it might well give them. The prize of promotion here. Well, the danger is that they get distracted by the, the celebration of the supporters. They can't afford to do that. That's one for the goalkeeper, I think. Played it back to him. He's got that through clever reading of the game. Intercepting and getting possession back. Oh, great work by the keeper. That's right, he could have been a bit luckier there. That's super feet there from the player. And those feet move so quickly. They're grateful for that, to have an intervention like that and get back on. to these players, Alan, because no one's frozen here. No one has uh, shied away from the responsibility. If anything, they've really grasped the moment and they're going to make sure that they are partying tonight. It looks that way. Oh, he's beaten his marker. This might be it! What a good way to score! from Valbuena, well he's hit it hard and he's hit it first time but perhaps the keeper could have got more on that <laughs> 45 minutes to go as we start the second half trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation shot's up he heads it for goal. Well, the goalkeeper's had to make a save. Perez. Can he do it? Wonderful finish. And what a strike that was. It's just arrowed into that right-hand side of the... Goal. And that 
he's a, a wonderful side foot. He knew exactly where the keeper was, and the fact he couldn't get there. Guys, that wraps that one up. We won 4-1, and as you'll see by the stats, we were very dominant. He was very easy to manipulate in defence, just by simple passing round or just simple ball rolls. He was diving into stupid tackles, and his defence was in shambles. Now, one more win secures us the title in Division 9, which puts us into Division 8, which we'll hopefully get in the next episode. With the coins that we've got, we're going to invest in the right midfielder that is Oxlade Chamberlain. He's 92 pace from memory, and his skill... Four-star skill will be very helpful in the forward liners. I felt Danny Welbeck was a bit not best in the stickiest of situations, and I feel like he needs a little bit of backup. Oxley Chamberlain being one of my actual favourite players for Arsenal in-game and in real life, he is going to fit nicely into that right midfield, and he helps to boost the chemistry by the hyperlink he gets with Welbeck. I'm pretty sure Welbeck's on nine, and the hyperlink between Debussy and Flamini means Flamini's on nine. Well, Oxlade and Debussy will both be on 10. Now, providing I can get all the French players in on the left-hand side of the field as well, we should have some decent chemistry going. Maybe in the next episode, I'll invest in a central midfielder or a left midfielder to help get us that little bit closer. But other than that, that's going to conclude this episode for today. I'm just going to fix up the squad quickly to make sure all of them are rested well for the next uh, episode so I can jump straight into a game. But other than that, that concludes the episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. Enjoy the rest of your day.